quick, I want to pull John 14. I'm going to read the first verse and, jump, and then jump down to the sixth verse. So John 14 and 1, let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in the Most High. You believe in Yahweh. Believe also in me. And Yahweh Shai, uh, verse 6, and Yahweh Shai said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. So, in these last days, people, men, women, and children are going to have to, um, are going to have to, and another, that's, a, that's a quick, another question I have. So, if the Most High is working directly through you and there's no mediator, then what about women and children? How can, how can they attain access to the Most High? Because they have to go through a man. They have to go through a man. So, pretty much, these Old Testament uh, Israelites are pretty much saying that the Most High is working with them directly, that they can go directly through the man to the Most High, which we know we have access to the Most High, and we know that women are going to be saved and for childbearing, and you know uh, there's going to be children saved as well. But we also understand that we're not working directly with to the Most High. We're working through the mediator, through the perfect um, sac sacrifice, you know, and with us all being sinners, how can you have access to the Most High? And you're and we're we're laden with iniquity. There has to be a sacrifice, man. There has to be some type of way to make yourself holy and 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 purify yourself to make it uh, to make yourself acceptable to attain salvation. And that sacrifice, that blood sacrifice, came came through your house shy. I'm gonna read that verse again. John 14 and 6, Yahweh Shai said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. So, that's that with that, man. You know, these Old Testament Israelites, they, they, don't, have, they don't have the truth because they don't have the spirit. The spirit is, uh, isn't resonating with them. But to continue on and then to finish up. What was that? So I'm gonna start up a little bit and then read back now. Matthew 25 and 17. And likewise, he that had received two, he also gained other two. But he that had received one went and digged in the earth and hid his Lord's money. Verse 19. After a long time, the Lord of those servants cometh and reckoneth with them. And he and so he that had received five talents came and brought other five talents, saying, Lord, thou deliverest unto me five talents. Behold, I have gained beside them five talents more. His Lord said unto him, Well done, thou good and faithful servant. Thou hast been faithful over a few things. I will make thee ruler over many things. Enter thou into the joy of the Lord of thy Lord. So the uh Yahweh Shah in his prayer was pretty much saying that he's going he's gonna to give certain men certain fruits of the spirit. And our job is to understand the mentality, mindset, and expectations of the, of the Lord. Our, we're not supposed to sit, just come out here and sit on these talents and, and hide them. We're supposed to actually get out here and, and trade and multiply these talents. Like you have, to, you have to understand the mentality of our Lord. Our Lord, he wants production, man. You know, um, once again, or if I didn't get into it, if I didn't say it, um, definition of Lord, someone or something having power, authority or influence, a master or ruler. So Yahweh Shai is going to establish his kingdom on this earth. So even though he even though the hand, even though the earth is given to the hand of the wicked for a short, a short time, uh, at the end of the day, this is still Yahweh Shai's kingdom. The earth is still Yahweh Shai's kingdom. He's not in rulership right now, but this is his kingdom. And when he establishes his rulership, he's he's gonna he's gonna or when he when we when as this earth this country or certain lands are destroyed and certain men attain salvation, when he grants the the rulership or when he um, when we walk into the inheritance of the rulership of the earth, I should say, like the scriptures say, I will make thee. Thou has been faithful over a few things. So with us being faithful over spiritual gifts and talents that we have now, 
and actually multiplying them and and sharing our talents with men who you know of like minded men. Uh, Yahweh Shah said, "I will make thee rule over many things." So you're gonna actually, Lord willing, be of the of the first fruit. And you're gonna actually be able to um, be a ruler um, in the kingdom, you know, and actually be a, a part of that uh, initial governing body set up to rule in the kingdom that's established on earth. So enter thou into the joy of thy Lord. Um, that joint. Um, Joint rulership or joint inheritance, I should say. Verse 22. He also that had received two talents came and said, Lord, thou deliverest unto me two talents. Behold, I have gained two other talents beside them. His Lord said unto him, well done, good and faithful servant. Thou hast been faithful over a few things. I will make thee ruler over many things. Enter thou into the joy of thy Lord. And that's another thing that you have to be mindful of and cognizant of as well, is that it, it really doesn't matter how many, if you come in and you're super deep or, you know, you have a, a, a super high level of understanding or you just come in and you're, you know, you kind of, you need a lot of building up in the spirit, you know, so to speak. Because if you're, if you're faithful, if you're loyal or well, good, if you're good, righteous, doing the right things, and you're faithful, you're going to, you're going to receive um, a several or respective reward, which that reward is going to be great because or going to be grand because it's going to be joint rulership in the kingdom of heaven, which is going to be amazing. You know, so wherever you come in, you know, be comfortable where you are because the the most high puts you in the exact spot in which um, you have, you're going to have the best opportunity to be fruitful and to produce. Verse 24, then he which had received the one talent came and said, Lord, I knew thee that thou art an hard man, reaping where thou hast not sown and gathering where thou hast not strawed. And I was afraid and I went and hid thy talent in the earth. Lo, thou hast that is thine. So here, this, you know, this uh, third man, he says, I knew thee that thou art an hard man. So just think about that mentality, man. That really is the mentality of a nigga, man. Like if you know your Lord, if you know that someone who who has power, authority or influence, a master or ruler, if you know he's a hard man, you should you should also make sure that you understand his mentality and his expectations. You know, because the first the first two servants, they understood now nah, the Lord that he didn't just give this to me for me to just sit on. He gave it to me because he knows he has an expectation that he wants me to produce, that he wants me to take this seed, these talents and to actually grow them. So when he does return me and when he shot does return, we can say, look, Lord, you gave me this. Here's here's this what you gave me. And here's here's also what I was able to through my labors and through my faith and through my servitude. This is what I'm able to offer you. You know, it's 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 an exchange. The the Most High imparts certain things to us in the spirit, and He expects us to impart. Uh, he expects us to grow those grow those talents also in the spirit and to share them with other men. Reaping where thou hast not sown. So really quick, I mean, I know these are words that you know men are pretty familiar with, but it's also it just it's just good to go on the words as well. You know, that's part of um, what the apostles you know actually you know show us is you when you go into these words you get a, a different uh different level of understanding so i'm gonna uh get into so really quick so plant the seeds plant with seed you know just you know to actually take the seed and, and put it into into fertile a fertile environment and then reap it says reap Cut or gather, harvest the crop, receive as a quant as a consequence of one's own or other people's action. So here's this guy says, I knew that thou art in hard man reaping where thou hast not sown. So here it is. Here's the mind of a nigga, man. You know, the you know, your Lord is a hard man. You know that he reaps or harvests where he hasn't sown. Where he hasn't planted seed. So if you know that he's he's the real deal, he's a hard man, and you know that he he 
has expectation to he wants he wants a harvest. He's not going to always be planting the seeds, which in all actuality, he planted those spiritual seeds in you, in the men. So when him planting the seeds in the men, it's up to the men to, to, to water and fertilize and care for and tend to those, that seed so that you produce a harvest and gathering where thou hast not strawed. And I was afraid. See, then that's a, that's a spirit. That's a spirit of uh, fear, of doubt. And I was afraid and went and hid thy talent in the earth. Lo, <clears throat> there thou hast that is thine. So you didn't do anything. All you did was took what the what the spirit with your Lord, Yahweh Shai, gave you, and you just hid it. But but once again, what's the expectation of our Lord, Yahweh Shai? The expectation of our Lord is that we're he's gonna be able to reap where he hasn't sown. So what do you expect the Lord to do? Verse 26, his Lord answered and said unto him, thou wicked and slothful servant, thou knewest, so you knew this, thou knewest that I reap where I sow not and gather where I have not straw. So you knew the Lord's expectations, man. You don't have an excuse. The only excuse <clears throat> is that you didn't have faith. You didn't have the faith that uh, that your Lord, Yahweh Shai, uh, through the Spirit, of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is going to actually enable and empower you to do the Lord's work. You had doubt. And you let that you let that doubt um suck away your ability to actually meet the expectations of your Lord, Yahweh Shai. Verse 27. Thou oughtest therefore to have put my money to the exchanger. So this is the Lord saying what you should have done. You should have put his money to the exchangers, to the brethren. I'm just gonna, you know, not to add the scripture. I'm just gonna, you know, go into that to the brethren, man. We out here exchanging spiritual talents. One man might have a certain talent on understanding economics. Another man might have a talent on understanding health and wellness. Another man might have a talent of just charity and being charitable. You got to come out here and you got to exchange these talents, man, because that's the way these these spiritual talents or these spiritual gifts are magnified. You know, are, it's like you are multiplied and the more that the more of the talents that each man has uh individually the the bigger and better and stronger the body thou art is therefore to have put my to put my money to the exchangers and then at my coming i should have received mine own with usury and usury is interest because that's what that's what the Lord Yahweh Shai he expects. He expects through the spirit that he's placing his men for his men to take those talents and to grow them. You know, and I'm actually going to stop there because I didn't I really don't want this lesson to go on too long. So once again, the Lord, he expects production, man. Like, yeah, you're going to face obstacles. You're going to face difficulties. You're going to face hardships. You, there's going to be a lot that comes your way. But at the end of the day, there is no excuse. Because as we went into um, in Corinthians, you have the the mo with with the most high through your house, shot your house, by shim your house, shot and stealing those talents of those spiritual gifts in you. He's also made it to if you have faith in the most high through your house, shot that you have the ability to overcome all obstacles because he hasn't put on you more than you can actually bear in the spirit or in the flesh. So with that, I'm going to end off by saying, call hello all your house, by shim your shot all praise unto the most high, the most high, Yahweh, in the name of the Lord and Savior, nation of Israel, Yahweh shot Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who lead, teach, and rule well. Honors, love to you, faith, your occupant, pushing the word in faith and sincerity across the four corners. Lord willing, you were edified. Until next time, Shalom.